Um, Doc, shall we go ahead? So I just want to remind everyone that the the demo that we're doing right now is for everyone, right? Doc? Yeah, it's there for everyone. Even right. Mayur can do it. Even Dr. Anupama can do it. Even Shakila can do it if they want. And uh, have you kept those pillows? So they just need the two pillows or yeah. they need yeah. uh, two crystals, right? So I, yeah, two crystals, two pillows or two uh, puppets, anything. Two, two of any, any, yeah, any yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. And I want all of them to close their eyes and regress to a age or feel, imagine or visualize that they are at a particular age where the disconnect happened with the father figure. We'll start with the father first. Okay. Especially people who have authority issues, career issues can do that. Okay. At what age did you have a disconnect with your father? Regress to that age. And as you regress to that age, I want you to look, open your eyes from the age of the whatever you are and look at the father and feel, what are you feeling towards the father? What is the emotion you hold for him? And I want you to now with small baby steps, start going towards your father. You may experience difficulty. If at some point, if your legs become heavy, just stand there and say, father, I want to come to you. I want to reach you. I want to get your blessings. If you can physically do it, then do it. If you can physically start walking, if you can't physically walk for whatever reason, I want you to imagine your father in front of you. Even if he's dead, even if you do not have him, even if you your mother divorced, you still had a father. You were born from a mother and a father. The father gives you life. Maybe you're angry with him because he left early. And I want you to put your hands in front, both the hands and say, Father, I want to receive from you. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for being there. Thank you for being a provider as much as you could. And you may feel yourself crying through this exercise. If you feel that, please do it. It is a catharsis. Feel the presence of your father. Feel your father's arms are around you and folding you. Take as much love as you can from your father. Take as much love as you can from your father. If you were not able to reach your father when you were young, or maybe somebody blocked that pathway. Today is the time to feel all those emotions. Maybe your mother did not allow you to go to your father. Say, Father, you are the big one and I'm the small one. 
you receive and you give. Hold me tightly, Father. Because today I am ready to receive everything that you can give me. Father, please love me, hold me. Take as much love as you can. And now, turn towards your mother. She has kept you in her womb for nine months. Look at her and say, thank you for nurturing me for being with me. Thank you for carrying me. I may sometimes get angry at you. I may sometimes neglect all that you have done for me. And in that, there is a possibility that I may reject you. So if any way I have rejected you, I am today ready to embrace you. Receive all your love. I'm ready to receive all your love all your care. Feel an umbilical cord from the mother getting connected to you. No matter where she is now. and get connected. Receive from her as much as you can. It's the mother's love. Let it flow from her umbilical cord to yours. Just feel her embracing you, enveloping you in that hug which you always wanted. but somehow you did not get. Allow yourself to feel that love. If there are tears rolling down, please allow these tears to be there. Washing away all the anger, resentment that you may be carrying for your mother. Say, I stop judging you. What you gave me is enough, more than enough. I 
I owe my life to you. This is the greatest gift and I cherish it and I treasure it. And I will make something out of my life. Because you have given me this greatest gift. So it's upon me now to create a life from this energy that you have given me. Thank you so much. And you can open your eyes. Thanks, Doc. We'll just wait for everyone to come out of that. That was quite deep, I think, and quite intense as a process. Well, if somebody cried, then that process was deep for the person. <laughs> But it's all, you know, it takes time to release your pent up emotions. Yeah, 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 it does. It does. We'll just um, tell us how you feel in the Telegram group. If there was something that came up. I have some questions already, Doc, <laughs> in the meantime. <laughs> Seema has said thanks, but isn't it dangerous with a toxic parent reconnection? No, 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 no. Uh, the more you reconnect, the more the toxicity will become less. Okay. Uh, Nagesh says, I have nothing to complain about my parents. They have done they, whatever they could wholeheartedly. <laughs> very nice. And, it's not about complain, it's about reconnecting to your parents. Hmm. Gosh, and I can see Shakila's all tearing. <laughs> Shakila, I hope you feel better <laughs> through this. Uh, Rita says tears came, um, but didn't roll down. <laughs> uh, Neil says, seems so good to reconnect, especially with the father again. With mother, it's always there, but the hurt was holding it back. So happy to acknowledge the ever-present love. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that is important, you know, that it is always there, but you reconnect it. Hmm. Rekha says, good experience while reconnecting to my father. The tears came and my throat was tight. Yes. Doc, what would be a follow-up for this process? What would you do? So, see, basically the follow-up for this process is, uh, is lots. Um, if they can do this, even when they are, you know, for 20, next 21 days, even to reconnect to your, their own parents, you know, the way we did it right, right now, yeah. maybe just a tissue, maybe the way uh, they can hear this audio, which I did, hmm. and uh, they can just reconnect. I know it's a, it would be a lot of work for them, but if they can do that, it would really, really help them to um, let go of uh, whatever issues you know, I don't know how much it will happen. It's going to be different for different people. Yeah. It will definitely help them to uh, resolve certain things in their life if they do it for at least for 21 days. Hmm. But the same process. Now, why? Because if anything is there, till the time you feel that you can effortlessly move towards your parents, you can hmm. effortlessly feel their presence around you and you can receive. Wonderful. 